Welcome back, guys, to my Afghan campaign. Uh, we're on day 14 now, um, and a few little developments. I've finally got my act together and managed to get myself a stack um, heading into um, Syria territory. As I said on a previous video, Syria decided to ignore my messages and started taking over um, my territory so I just thought why not return the favour and send a stack in so I've taken out all these gunships that he's sent at me so far I've managed to kill um, three gunships that he's sent so that was a, a nice bonus uh, I'm going to go for one of the old Turkey uh, cities just to see if he's got any troops in there and just work my way across obviously then towards his capital uh, I've also got my stack on the move in India, finally, so I should be able to take out all the little units that are dotted. As you can see, there's just little dotted units literally everywhere, and they're just really annoying. Um, so my stack will just whip through all of those. After that, once India and Syria are taken, probably going to rebuild for a bit, as um, in Europe, Poland's basically taking on all three of the coalition members himself. So he's got Ireland, Portugal, and the Baltic states all fighting him, which <coughs> is uh, pretty impressive, to be fair. And he's he's basically, I think, he's winning. Pretty sure the Baltic states have now quit the game, so that's one potentially down. Obviously, Portugal and Ireland are currently fighting hard. As you can see, Portugal's moving in across Germany. Uh, trying to get over to the Polish border, so that'd be interesting. Obviously, Poland's working its way down to Portugal. Um, Australia, still just doing his thing. He's obviously taken over Malaysia now. Um, I'm still wondering why he's not taken over these Korean cities that have gone rogue. Um, bit odd, I don't understand that at all. So, yeah, still keep an eye on that. And then, obviously, we've still got... Uh, Venezuela and Canada have basically obliterated Mexico. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where Canada goes next from here. Will he, I don't know if he'll go sort of into South America to help take over that, or will he venture over maybe into Africa? Because um, Africa's not too much happening. Obviously, we've got Chad with um, his ally. Who's he got with him? Oh, it was Malaysia, so Chad's now on his own now that Malaysia's been taken out. So it'll be interesting to see how he expands down there. Obviously, Nambia is still kind of growing, same with South Africa, but not too much. Um, so, yeah, I'm just currently getting a radar built because I do like having radar, especially when we're going to be getting our artillery. We need the radar to identify where there is targets, as sometimes... Um, even though we might be in range, they don't engage if there's no radar there, which we found out in previous games. So we definitely need a radar for this game. Um, and then I'm just going to keep on upgrading my unit. So I've got my infantry up to level four now. Um, I need to upgrade my anti-air a couple of levels, probably to level four as well, so I can fly them across the map. Um, and also my tank destroyers, I'll probably level up a little bit as well, just for the extra hit points and attack versus infantry so yeah just a, a, a quick update uh, hopefully tomorrow i'll be able to share some um interesting actions that have happened uh, hopefully i can just steamroll through syria and then we'll go from there um i'll probably to be fair we'll take out saudi arabia oman and yemen just so we can solidify this part of the continent take over all the middle east Obviously, if we grab the old Turkey territory that Syria's got, that gives us a sort of a landing potential point to go into Europe then through maybe Istanbul. We'll have to see. But, um, yeah, thank you all for the the likes and the views. I uh, really do appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd love to subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. I really do appreciate everybody so far that's joined me. And, um, yeah, then you won't miss any of my future videos if you do subscribe. So take care, everybody, and we'll catch you in the next one.